Living in College Park, we are 31 miles away from the number 42 allergy capital. As someone who's been affected by allergies from indoor, outdoor, seasonal, even animal and food allergies, I've always wondered why some of these symptoms seem to come and go, and why it see, seems like other people's symptoms seem to come and go at any time. The truth is, allergies are elusive. They have several causes, can come and go at any time in your life, and also are affected by climate change and pollution. Today I will first be discussing the causes of allergies, second, why they, see, why they seem to come and go, and how they are affected by climate change, just so you know a little bit more about what affects you. Allergies are defined by medicine.net as an exaggerated reaction by the immune system in response to bodily contact with a foreign substance. Now, they're considered an exaggerated reaction because this is, in a normal person who doesn't have allergies, these substances are completely harmless. But if you do have allergies, your body thinks it's being attacked. So, some of the allergen reactions are congestion, sneezing, coughing, itchy watery eyes, a runny nose, asthma symptoms, and sometimes anaphylactic shock, like with food allergies. Some of these allergens that bother you are pollen, mold, dust mites, pet dander, these are my dogs, and a very interesting thing about them is they're both hypoallergenic. They have hair instead of fur, so they don't irritate people who have pet allergies, which we have to do because my brother has really bad asthma, and foods. Um, so now that you know a little bit about what causes allergies, we're going to talk about why they can be so mysterious and how they seem to sprout from nowhere. Allergies can come from two sources, genetics or exposure. In terms of heredity, you are 15% likely to gain allergies if neither of your parents have them, 30% likely if both your parents have them, and 30% uh, likely if one of your parents have them, and 60% likely if both of your parents have allergies. Sometimes adults develop allergies, oh actually, when your allergies arise, all depends on DNA. In your DNA you have millions of different little nucleotide sequences and so many different codes that anywhere on your genetic map it can code for an allergy to sprout at any time. Scientists really haven't figured this out yet as they don't have the genome mapped. Now allergies can come at any time, um, also due to overexposure to certain allergens. If you're overexposed to pollen throughout your life, you're going to end up having more, more of a sensitivity to it. In addition, allergies seem to go sometimes and kind of develop, you develop like a hiatus to them. Sometimes this is due to puberty. As you are, you know, growing up and you're going through puberty, you have a lot of hormones going on and they can kind of change what affects your body and you can outgrow an allergy. In addition, um, as you get bigger, like as you're a child and you grow larger, your airways also grow larger, so some of the like asthmatic allergies, the symptoms seem to lessen. But, unfortunately, most of these do come back and this hiatus can be long, brief, but it's never permanent. Now that we know why allergies come and go, we're going to talk about how climate change and pollution are affecting more people getting allergies. Currently, 50 million people in North America are affected by allergies. And one of those reasons is climate change. Climate change causes warmer winters and warmer springs, and also causes flowering like trees and plants to flower sooner, creating a longer allergy season. So you're going to be affected for a longer time, and there's a greater time span that you're breathing in all these pollens and things, and it starts to affect you. In addition, pollution. Um, causes carbon dioxide to be emitted into the air. Now, we learned in biology, sometime whenever you took biology, that photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide as a type of food for plants. So with more carbon dioxide, plants have an overabundance of this food and they really tend to thrive and create more pollen and thus irritate you more. So, to recap, allergens are everywhere and they can cause allergies at any time. Pollution and climate change being on the rise also increases the chances of these symptoms. While your parents determine your allergies, so does your exposure. And it basically all depends on, your, on the individual. So, when you leave class today, whether or not you have allergies now, think about all that pollen that you're inhaling, and it may come to get you in the future.